All right, guys, this is your homework tonight. Uh, we kind of started on some of these problems in class. I'm just kind of reviewing um, what you need to do. Uh, we, I know not everyone took their spiral home, but we got to kind of go over or apply the six steps here. So we're first going to rearrange the equation so it's in standard form. Highest exponent comes first to the smallest. Make sure the equation is equal to zero. Factor like normal, okay? Then set each uh, set of parentheses equal to zero, and we're going to solve for x. So when we, oops, wrong way, that's our graphic organizer. Here we go. So we were, I was going to kind of address the left side and kind of give some hints on the right, but number four is a prime example of how we have to first get it equal to zero. Um, this is not set equal to zero. I can tell right here let me get my pen right here it's equal to this negative x squared so to make this zero i do the opposite so i'm going to add x squared to both sides of the equal sign and now this right side is going to become zero and we're going to rewrite those rewrite this expression in standard form highest exponent comes first so that would be x squared plus 5x plus 6 equals 0. So now I'm just factoring like normally like, like normal. This x squared does not have a coefficient. So I'm just going straight to my x puzzle. And in my x puzzle, we'll have a 6 on top, the last term. The middle term is at bottom. Factors of 6 with the sum of 5. Well, that's going to be my 3 and 2. 3 times 2 gives me 6. 3 plus 2 gives me 5. So we have x plus 3 and x plus 2. But now since we're solving by factoring, we do the opposite of our grouping of our factors here. So if it's plus 3, my x is going to equal actually a negative 3. We do the opposite. And if it's plus 2, this x is going to be minus or negative 2. Okay. So make sure it's in standard form, it's equal to zero, and then we're just using our factoring skills uh, to solve. So on number five here, because, again, we have it equal to 55x, we have to first subtract, oops, sorry, do the opposite, this 55x. Did it again, sorry. This now becomes my zero over here. So I'm just going to put it in standard form. 7x seven, seven squared minus 55x minus 8 equals zero. Now the difference between this trinomial and the one we had up here is now, I don't know if you see here, now we have a coefficient, a number in front of the x squared. So we got to slip and, or slide and multiply, or slip and slide. Slide and multiply. So in my x puzzle, I'm now going to have a negative 56 and a negative 55. So we're looking for factors of a negative 56 with the sum of a negative 55. Well, that would be negative 56 and a positive 1. So in my grouping, I'm going to have x minus 56 and x plus 1. But because we have a coefficient and we multiply, we now are going to need to divide by that coefficient. So this one, I can reduce that as x minus 8 here. And this, I would just keep it as the fraction 1 7. So that's the reduced fraction right there. Because we're solving. We're not needing the factors. So I don't necessarily need to do bottoms up. What I need to do is do the factors of each Binomial here. So I'm doing x equals now a positive 8 because we had a minus there. And I'm just going to do a comma. x now equals a negative 1 7. And that's our two answers. So for a problem like 6 here, it's already equal to 0. But what I would do first, the first thing you should always do is check for a GCF. There's a GCF of 3 for each term. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that 3 outside the parentheses. I have left the remainder 2x squared minus 3x minus 5 equals 0. 
and I have a coefficient, so this tells me slide and multiply. So I have factors of a negative 10 with the sum of a negative 3. Well, that's a negative 5 and positive 2. So I keep the 3 outside the parentheses. I have x minus 5, x plus 2. My coefficient was the 4 here. I mean the 2, excuse me. Sorry, this 2 is the coefficient. So because I multiply, i got to divide everything by 2 first. So if I just extend this page here, i got 3, 56x minus 5 over 2. I can't reduce that any further, but this becomes x plus 1. And now my actual values for x for this binomial is a positive 5 over 2. And for this one, negative 1. Okay. So what I want you to do is kind of make sure we send our equations equal to 0. I want you to focus on uh, getting it set up in the right form and then using your factoring um, method. So um, 7 is already in the correct form, or already equal to 0, but it's not in standard form. So you have to first go high to low. So it should start off with 3x squared minus 3x minus 6 equals 0. Okay, and now hopefully you see there's a GCF. And then it's a basic trinomial once you do that. Um, here, it's already in standard form, already equal to 0. There's no number in front of x squared. So we're just going straight to our x, 81 on top, 18 on the bottom, and then just factoring there. 9, it's not equal to 0. So we have to subtract 36 first. x squared minus 36 equals 0. And now you have a difference of squares. So that's the only hit I'm going to give you on there. And then on 10 here, it is in standard form. It's equal to 0, but there is a GCF first. So try that. Once you do that, then you're going to hopefully see it's a trinomial with a coefficient. So it's kind of similar to what we did on number 5. Uh, 11 is not equal to 0. Same thing with 12. So don't let this confuse you, okay? Do the opposite to make it equal to zero. All right, there's my zero. And then put it in standard form, highest to lowest degree, like such. And then basic trinomial. All right, so please get this done. Let's do tomorrow. We will have some maybe exit tickets or pop quiz questions or similar, you know, homework problem questions to do before you leave tomorrow. All right. Thank you.